Vigilance Wing is an exotic kinetic pulse rifle available from Engrams in Destiny 2. The first perk, Harsh Truths, causes this weapon to fire in a 5 round burst. Also, when a nearby ally is killed, you gain health regeneration and increase movement speed for 10 seconds. The second perk, Last Stand, gives this weapon improved performance when you're the last living member of a fire team. I was pleasantly surprised by this pulse rifle. Bungie's other attempts at moving away from the three-shot standard of pulse rifles was kind of laughable. At least it was after the massive nerfed pulses in Destiny 1. So I was fully anticipating this five-shot pulse to be a pain to review, but no. The five-round burst is alarmingly consistent in both PvE and PvP. That word consistent, I'm probably going to use it a lot in this review. The two main perks on the weapon definitely skew it into more of a PvP weapon though. I haven't been able to test how close someone has to be to get the Harsh Truths perk to actually proc, since that stuff is basically impossible without a ton of time or private matches. In the times I have seen it proc though, I've seen it range from someone being right next to you to a good distance across the map. So it's actually pretty versatile and will be up often in normal quick play due to this large radius. The last stand perk is also a carryover from the Trials weapons of Destiny 1. If it procs on you in PvE, something is probably horribly wrong. In PvP though, it can proc during a normal game if everyone on your team happens to be dead. So depending on the game mode, it can be a lasting benefit until the end of the round, or just a nice boost until your teammates respawn. Vigilant Swing in PvE is fine. That's the easiest way to sum it up. It does good damage as long as you get the entire burst on your target. The 50 round magazine makes for long periods of firing great, and the reloading isn't too bad if you have a kinetic reload mod. I usually want more though from a weapon, especially an exotic for PvE. I want some sort of utility, massive damage, or unique effect that will make PvE a much more enjoyable and fun experience. Vigilance Wing's unique way of dealing damage doesn't really deliver on that for me, and the perks don't really play into PvE either. The most I will see you get out of them are some health regeneration if someone dies close to you. I prefer my weapons to be self-sufficient, and not rely on nearby people dying to get buffs, again, at least in PvE. I do find myself running out of ammo quite a bit when using this gun. The large reserve ammo pool is a bit deceiving as that 50 round magazine reduces it in large chunks every time you reload. I often found myself out of ammo in a single public event if it was one that didn't involve a lot of running around to pick up ammo. This can be easily remedied by just swapping to your energy weapon a little bit more, but it's still a problem that you will eventually encounter if you decide to use this in PvE. I said earlier this gun is designed for PvP, and fortunately it does exceedingly well there. Pulse rifles as a whole lack a bit of consistency. I've only found a few that I can really use and compete with some of the other top used weapons. Vigilance Wing is definitely among the best of the pulses since it's just an incredibly consistent 3 burst kill. With most pulses you want to aim at the neck and chest area to try to maximize those last two shots being crits. With Vigilance Wing, you just want to land your shots with little care for them being precision or not. So I ended up aiming a little bit lower and having a fun time with the consistent easy damage. I think that's the real takeaway about the gun. People talk about Mida being a forgiving weapon, and it is with its always active radar and good handling speeds. But its damage is still pretty reliant on you pinging people in the dome. Vigilance Wing, on the other hand, just requires that you land shots in your burst. The almost completely vertical recoil makes that job a very easy one since Bungie finally figured out that having a massive buzzsaw-like horizontal recoil doesn't make for an interesting pulse rifle. Having 10 bursts is also pretty nice too since you can get off some good damage in choke points and start racking up assists or final blows. Oh yeah, by the way, this gun is one of the best team shooting guns in my opinion. I ran a trials card where everyone was using it and we were just annihilating groups of people. I know the whole game is kind of balanced around this fact, but when you have a whole team of vigilance wings on a mid-range style map, you're going to be able to dominate those mid-range lanes if you stay with a buddy. Sadly, even though I am talking pretty highly about this gun on its own, it isn't without its faults when you compare it to the rest of everything else. The real downside comes from this gun being built to dominate the medium range, but still losing out easily to auto rifle in that same exact range. You have to perfectly land your bursts to beat out an average auto rifle engagement. Even at the longer ranges, auto rifles just have a little bit easier time landing their shots as crits since most of yours will probably start falling off due to pulse rifle recoil. In the close ranges, you can get away with a quick kill if someone is low, but coming across someone at full health won't be a fun time there either unless you get really lucky and land all your shots as criticals. So this gun, while having an interesting design and an easily identifiable role, it's outclassed a bit in the damage dealing category by other more consistent weapon types as a whole.
So in short, Vigilance Wing is one of the more consistent pulse rifles in the game. Its usefulness in PvE is mostly determined by how good you are at landing those full bursts on your targets. The perks will not be much use there, and you're honestly better off using something else, especially as you're exotic. For PvP, this gun is the ideal weapon for someone looking to deal reliable damage without having to worry too much about hitting precision shots. If you can, you can reap some good damage, but mostly it's about landing those bursts while ducking in and out of cover. I hope you found the information here helpful. If you did, a positive rating would be appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.